Hey guys, I get a lot of requests on how to Dremel my dog's nails. So we are going to give you a little demonstration on how we do that. So um, I often wanna make sure that you guys clearly understand that you need to do a lot of desensitization, touching your dog's paws, all of those things before um, you just start Dremeling. You don't wanna just you know hold your dog down. <laughs> Dad give me rewards. Um, you don't want to just like hold your dog down and be like, all right, let's get this done. Um, neither of my dogs love getting their nails dremeled, but it's something that you got to do. So um, what we do is we always have our dogs on a slip lead and typically I'll um, just hook them up to the treadmill or something and kind of flip their paws around and do it myself. But if I do have Casey available to do that, um, I'll have him hold on to the slip lead. I'll dremel them up real quick and we'll get her done. So what I'm going to do is show you just kind of the setup. What we do, I have the um, Dremel Micro. You can get that off of Amazon, a hardware store, things like that. Um, it's actually like a woodworking Dremel, so it's not a made for your dog. It's really um, high power and um, sturdy and it works really, really well. So that's what I found good luck with. All right, dude, you ready? He hates getting his nails done, so it'll be a good example for you guys. So I like the dog to be in a standing position. So I'll have Casey position himself so he's uh, parallel with Rhodey's head and he'll be able to food reward him and things like that. If your dog is, you know, nippy or something, muzzle condition him, don't be afraid to have him on a muzzle. Um, I typically actually, when I'm doing his alone, just to be on the safe side, because I know he doesn't like it, um, I do muzzle him up. But and obviously I would have him like if he was at the vet getting him done or something like that. So don't be afraid to muzzle your dog up for extra safety. But when you have a second person, that definitely does help. So I'm gonna have him stand, good. And then what I want you to do is, your dog's gonna try to sit. Um, you can definitely teach them the stand command, but they just tend to want to attempt to sit. So what I like to do is I kind of like put my arm and my hand down the dog's leg just to let them know like I'm here, like we're, we're good, I'm not gonna just go and like grab your paw and start going. So I kind of move my arm down and I flip it up like they're a little horse, making sure that one finger and the other finger is on either side of the nail. You want it nice and secure. You don't want it to be where you're grabbing the paw and then just touching the Dremel to the nail because that'll make it be really uncomfortable for the dog. You want it to be make sure that you have it really stationary so that when you do go to Dremel, the nail's not like moving all over the place because that can actually be pretty painful for the dog. So flip it over, position the nail, turn it on, and buzz. So when they start kind of pulling away like that, because they will tend to do that, just wait it out for a second, let them kind of pull, and then once they're stationary, good, and that's where you can reward, and then start going again. So right here, I'm gonna wait them out, good. And then after each nail, you would reward for it. So I'm gonna get you a closer up shot of how you need to hold the actual nail. 